What? Again? Nope, 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 no, 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 no. Ah, there we go. Yep. Mm-hmm. I started with a design that I made in Fusion 360. The guitar is based on a classic Stratocaster look using a template that I got from Etsy. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. The guitar is made of 27 puzzle pieces printed in red, orange and yellow and that are later assembled exactly like a traditional jigsaw puzzle would be. Using Cura, I then sliced the pieces at 0.3mm height using 40% lightning infill for the non-structural pieces as you can see in the video and 50% cubic infill for the structural pieces. The structural pieces are those that hold large screws like the neck pocket, the floating bridge assembly, and the six bridge screws. It took an average of two and a half hours to print each piece. So for all the 27 pieces, that's roughly 65 hours total. Once all the pieces were printed, it was time to clean them up. I just used some clippers, a knife, and sandpaper to remove the brim and get rid of the tiny amount of elephant's foot that appeared on the prints. In total, the cleanup must have taken about 10 hours. Next was the glue up. I started by making sure that each piece would at least engage with the other. Then I laid some painter's tape on my table and used some 3D glue to stick the pieces together. Using clamps, I pushed the pieces down into each other, locking them together one piece at a time. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the tolerances. I added a 0.1 millimeter tolerance on every side that touched another piece. This worked out quite well overall, although there are some pieces that had more trouble fitting than others, as you'll see in a minute. Next up, I decided to print new knobs and pickup covers for the pick card. I thought this would add some interesting detail. I already had a knob design from a previous project that I knew would fit well onto this build, so I just fired up the G-code on my Ender 2. I'm really happy with how the knobs turned out. They came out super clean. I decided to also print a new pick card. First, because I thought the cut plastic look of the other pick card that I had would clash with the rest of the guitar, but also because it hid some of the puzzle pattern. So using another template from Etsy, I made a new pickguard with some cutaways to expose the puzzle underneath. The pickup covers also needed to be cleaned up to make sure they fit in the pickguard. Here I'm disassembling the pre-assembled pickguard that I bought and transferring the components. Next up, I marked the holes where the screws for the pick guard would go. Here, I'm re-drilling the holes for the bridge screws. Even though I included them in the model, it made sense to enlarge them a bit more. Next up, installing the claw for the floating bridge assembly. and screwing in the bridge. 
Now I'm marking the location of the pilot holes where the neck will be attached. I just insert the screws and lightly tap them to make a small mark. Using a square jig, I can finally drill the pilot holes. And finally bolt the neck in. This is the final fitting test before I screw in the pick guard. A bit of soldering on the output jack and to the claw underneath, and all the electronics are done! Now all that's left is a few details and the guitar is done.